When I was 12, my father came into my room, sat on the end of my bed, and said, I'm sorry to tell you, son, but your mum died last night. She had been suffering from metastasized breast cancer, and although she had some of the best care in the world, why did she have to die so young at age 36? I had crippling back pain that started when I was 18 and reoccurred every single 10 years. I went and saw medical doctors who could relieve the symptoms. I saw chiropractors. I saw osteopaths. I saw great therapists. I spent thousands and thousands of dollars trying to find out what caused the problem to occur, but not one of them was able to do that. What about people with depression, anxiety, anorexia, or any other type of psychological disorder? Take my client Kari, for example. She was diagnosed as being clinically depressed. She was suicidal. She had many other psychological problems as well. She was told, though, that she would never get over those problems and that she would be on medication for the rest of her life. You see, medical doctors, psychotherapists, really great people like that, you know what? They know a lot of what's going on inside us chemically. They know what's going on inside us physically. They can give us drugs. They can offer us surgery. They can offer us different types of therapeutic interventions. But not one of them can answer what causes a disease to occur. And in my book, Why Am I Sick? I answer those questions. It was written that way. It was written to answer it scientifically. It was written that way for it also to be a good read. In it, I answer how specific stressful events cause certain diseases. I also show that there are stages that a disease goes through and that it can explain every single symptom, every single mood swing, every single pain, and the fact that why a disease reoccurs and keeps coming back and our behavior changes as well during that particular time. From my home base near Niagara Falls and traveling around the world and on the internet, I have been able to train medical doctors, psychotherapists, psychologists, alternative and complementary practitioners. And listening to their stories over the last 20 years, they have shared with me how their loved ones, how their clients, and how themselves have suffered from seemingly incurable diseases. But they intuitively know that there is a stressful event linked to every single disease. And why am I sick? has finally been able to give them that roadmap that they've been looking for. In Why Am I Sick, I also put to rest many answers to questions that people have about disease. I explain why my mother got her breast cancer. I explain why I got my back pain. I also go on to explain how I solved it. Now, what about those other people that are sick like Kari, who feel powerless? being offered maybe another drug, maybe surgery. In the book, Why Am I Sick? I offer them a way out of their problem, a way back to wellness, a way back to getting their power back. People assume, you see, that the medical profession know exactly why they're ill. In Why Am I Sick? I challenge the very fabric of every single disease and the beliefs that are associated to it. I also give people solutions as well through my latest work called Advanced Clearing Energetics. Why Am I Sick is full of real life examples that are related to questions about disease and giving really good quality science behind it. It also goes on to explain that one question that's on every one of our lips when we aren't well. Why am I sick?